Hi there. A friend of mine saw that I had posted a photo album, um, and I had tagged some of my friends in those pictures and wanted to know how to do it. Now, I normally would go back to YouTube and find a instructional video on how to do that, but because Facebook has changed its format through the years, uh, some of those videos are outdated um, and others don't give the screenshots that I'm going to provide here. So, let's go ahead and get started. You can open up Facebook and on your profile page you can just go to photos and uh, here you can create a photo album and you can type in your album name and the location and a description uh, for where this album took place set your security settings you know only friends or friends of friends everyone whatever you're comfortable with and you just click create album uh, but since I've already created one, I just want to amend one. The process is really about the same if you've uploaded any photos before. So I'm just going to scroll down here. And I'm going to click on School Days so I can add some photos to that one. Okay, so here I am, and I just click on Add More Photos, and we wait for the applet to load up. And this does take a little while, so I'm just going to jump ahead here. Okay. So it's going to the folder that I was previously at last time I was uploading photos in this particular case. So I don't have to browse to it. So I'm just going to scroll down here, find the photos that I need to grab here. Okay, so let me just scroll down here, see what I can find. Um, see a few of these I want to grab. I want this one, this one, this one, this one. And uh, let's see, this one right here. And the nice thing is, is that when I originally did this, um, it only gave me the option of uploading five at a time, and I had to browse for each one. Um, but once you've done it, it's pretty quick here. Um, this Facebook upload takes a while, so again, I'm just going to jump ahead. All right, upload successful. So that actually took a little longer than, uh, than I was allowing here in the video, just to save a little time. Click OK. Alright, so now we're here at the uh, album page, um, and you can see that I've already gotten some photos loaded on here, added some captions to these. Um, so these are already the ones that I've done this to. I've already tagged people in these photos. So let me just scroll down here to the photos I've already, or I've just added, rather. Uh, this one I don't really want to caption, but I do want to tag a few people here. Uh, so... I noticed that um, on the video, my cursor is uh, translated uh, to just a regular cursor. When you're tagging people, it's actually going to turn into a crosshairs. Um, so when those crosshairs show up, you can start tagging people in your photo. Um, here is my uh, sister Beth that I want to tag here. So I can either scroll down through the list uh, or just start typing your name. Okay, and then next is Tabby. you got to click on the name. And Martha, and me. Okay, so I got all four of us tagged here. And now the next thing I want to show you is that now these are all people that are on my Facebook, and um, and when you tag them, they're going to link to their Facebook page. But in this particular case, Russ Rug Rigney, rather, uh, he was our dare officer. Uh, he um, is not on Facebook. He's not on my Facebook page anyhow. Um, but I still want to tag him in here because there's people on my Facebook who do know him. And here I'm going to go ahead and add a caption also. Okay. And uh, now I'm just going to finish this off. I'm going to tag the rest of my photos, caption them, and I'll see you when I'm done. Um, one thing I mentioned is that this picture with a lot of people in there I will um, tag that after I'm done. This way I can pinpoint the people's faces a little easier. And uh, I think I'll go ahead and publish these. Now I'm going to go to um, that group photo that I want to do. And I could go ahead and just uh, scroll down here, click on tag this photo. Again, it'll show up the crosshairs. You can't see it here. Um, but I can just click on their faces and just tag them like I was before. Um, I'm not going to do this in this case because it'll take a while. Um, I'll come back to this. But let me go to my brother-in-law's Facebook page. And uh, I'll go to his photos. And he's got some pictures of my kids in here. So I can go ahead and tag those. And uh, 
think I'll select on this one with Ellie, uh, holding the Buzz Lightyear there. Now, Frank's pretty good about tagging. He's already got Elisha. She's my youngest daughter. Um, got her tagged, but he doesn't have Buzz Lightyear tag, so that's what I'm going to tag here. So I'll click on tag this photo, just like I did on mine. And uh, click on Buzz Lightyear. And even though he's not on my Facebook page, I can still put his name in there. They give you the option to email him, so that way you can be buddies with him and all that stuff. Uh, pretty good service there. So click on tag. And then click on done tagging at the top there. And he's tagged now. So you can hover over him. You can see Buzz Lightyear. And um, I feel I should probably put this little disclaimer out there. Um, you know, when you're tagging photos, don't be stupid. Use some common sense. Don't put, you know, don't tag somebody as, you know, Mr. Buttface or something like that. Just, just be cool about it. Okay, it is kind of on the honor system. Um, so otherwise you may find that suddenly you're not friends with Jack anymore. What happened, you know? Well, you know. Just use your head. All right. Have a good one.